Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. We've got a short week coming up here. To begin, a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two years only to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 126, NASDAQ's off 79, S&P's down 25, gold contract up $23.90 at 1972 an ounce. We had silver up 60 cents, $25.59 an ounce. Light sweet crude off six and a half, six dollars, up six dollars and twenty three cents, one hundred dollars fifty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten year note, up twenty six ticks at one twenty eighteen. The thirty year up fifteen at one forty two seventeen. And King dollar, King dollars up three hundred and forty eight ticks, trading out here at a hundred point two eight zero. Euro is out here at one oh eight. Yen is at 125.39. The British pound's at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you have a market, folks, that gave it up on price in an incredible way. But guess what? My take, you're in a bear market. Um, what you're going to do here is that when I, when I just did the update, by the way, it didn't look like we were going to get the volume on the spies. We very well might get the small volume on the spies for an ABC structure down, too. And if that's what we got, bottom line, we're going to go after these lows. Uh, right now, you're at 437, 410 is gain. On the Qs, we're going to have it all. The Qs are going to be just, that, let me see, it's probably our confirmed ABC down already. We got, uh, we only need, we're at 59 million, we need uh, 66. We'll get 66 in the next 15, well, no, probably 10 minutes. That sets up a 317 number, and 317 is the bottom. And I suspect the way this is setting up to see what happens in the, on the queues, folks. Uh, check this out. Now, this is going to be cool. So I'm going to give you the bullish and bearish here about if, will you get a bounce out of this. So you see this? We've had, we had one gap that was laid out, you know, last week. You're going to get another gap that was laid out on, well, two gaps on one Monday or well, one on Friday. They don't come in twos, folks. They come in threes. So I suspect what you're going to probably see is you're going to probably see it tomorrow morning, the gap down. Now, if that's what we get, if we get three gaps down and you do after this low and you test that low with light volume, I, you very well could basically get a, close all those gaps again. That would be the good news. Now, the bad news is this. Whatever way the market gaps like this and we're in a downtrending market, that's where the market wants to go. That's how this works, okay? So what I have seen, if it's a three-gap play, you get, if you get the second, the third gap, bottom line, many times they'll go back and fill them up and then see you later again, which could make sense. Bottom line, it's a rough market. You go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract has caught a bid, has the volume behind the move, and the magic price here in gold is the close of 1972, right at 1972 right now. Uh, you had 161,000 contracts today. I'd like to see a little bit more, but yesterday you did have the contract volume that came in. Yesterday we came in with uh, 184,000, and you didn't hold price. And what you can get out of this is this. You know, I've talked about this many times, that when you get, a, get to a price, a higher price, and you have the volume expand and you don't hold price, most times you go right back topside. And that's exactly what we're seeing out here today. There's buyers in the gold market in a big way. And the amazing part about it is there's buyers in the gold market when you have King Dollar laying out here, you know, at 100.289. So King Dollar, you know, bottom line, once again, looks like it's going after this 102 to 103. That's a big number. You know, if we do take a look at the, um, you know, the bank earnings are coming out, let me tell you, that, this is something, folks, that you can really understand technically and fundamentally. So technically... You take a look at J.P. Morgan, okay? J.P. Morgan, bottom line, has just gone in six months from $172 to $130. My take, this thing's going a lot lower. When you take a look at this, and this is going to be a problem, right now, J.P. Morgan is 
below where it was trading pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, it got to 141. We're at 130. You get a high volume swing point down here. It looks to me like JP Morgan's run down to like 105. So it's a big number. And what does that say? That says two different things. What has happened is that, yes, the rates have gone up, but the spread is not there because what's going on, the yield curve is inverting. That's the first one. Second one, which I think is more important, what the market is recognizing is this. The bottom line is that who is going to have a bathing suit on because the tide's going out? And when everyone's naked, not everyone, but it's going to be a lot of people naked. What I mean specifically by that is that there are going to be a lot of loans that the banks are on the hook for that, guess what? They are going to go south. That's what this market is saying right now. Because the banks, bottom line, should be higher. You know, and when they're not higher, guess what? That means they're going to be losing money. Um, and the thing that is amazing, there's no doubt, when you just take a look at, you know, the P.E., you're talking about a P.E. of only 11.65. Well, at 11.65, we've been running to like a 15 to 20 P.E. in this market, folks, okay? So that's saying quite a bit. We got to take a look at the MDX 100, I mean, the IWM, the small caps, same set setups. Small caps also are setting up an ABC structure on the way down. It won't take much either. Um, you know, I suspect tomorrow you're going to do that jump. You can see, you know, if you set this up at the lows, you're going to see all the volumes at the lows in the IWM. And the IWM, and, you know, the bottom line is you're down from 244, you're trading 196, and that also wants lower price. So big numbers coming at us. Uh, you know, this is the type of bear market that you have, though. You're up. You're up you know, in a monster way, you give it up in spades, they just keep sending it out. Send that paper out, sell that paper, sell that paper, give me that cash. Dow Industrials right now down 174, NASDAQ's off 92, S&P's off 30. Stay right there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. He's going to give us that update. And, of course, you guys, you come over to TFNN. Basil's going to be doing a workshop tomorrow for all the subscribers. Very easy to get into that workshop. We'll talk about it as soon as we come back. Stay right there, folks.